What is up guys, I'm here trying out Mortal Kombat demo. I got it yesterday and it's pretty sweet. Uh, here in the menu you see fight, story mode, challenge tower, training, online, and extras. But in the demo, you're not allowed to those. In here you got tag ladder to test your luck, your might, your sight, and your strike. Can't wait to try those out. And here are your character selects. As you can see in the bottom, there's a downloadable content content. Uh, one of them is going to be King Taro, Kenshi, and an unknown character currently known as the Lady in Red. Also Kratos is going to be in there which I'm really excited about. It's the only reason I'm actually getting the game. Okay my first match here, oh I put it on medium because I didn't know what to expect and I should have put it on hard just to let you know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm fighting Melina, and this chick freaks the heck out of me, man. She's just a psycho. Okay, round one. Um, I can tell you right now, right away, that uh, the previous fighting styles in the previous games, like uh, uh, Scorpion had Hapkido and some other style, and then he pulled up the sword. Well, that's gone. And um, I think I like it this way. It's a little more simpler. And... Uh, he still has a sword, by the way. You see him pull it out every now and then. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyways, um, the uh, the environment is uh, 3D, as you can tell, but the fighting style is 2D, like the old school games. And I think it's a little bit better this way instead of we just go around in circles like in the previous game with me and my brothers. Um, just like in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, which is a kick-ass game. And I've been looking for it, I can't find it. If you have it and want to donate it to me, that'd be awesome. Anyways, I'm about to finish her. Uh, another thing they brought back is the uh, move list. It's for if uh, basically if you don't know what to do, you go in here and it tells you what to do, what does what. And uh, it's pretty cool that they show the fatality moves in here, which uh, that's what I used to do this. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, okay, so on to our next victim. And it's uh, a mirror match. Scorpion versus Scorpion. Uh, the background, uh, if you've noticed, it's from the uh, previous one, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3 uh, backgrounds. This is one's the forest. And uh, I believe the, fir the first one was the pit. I, if I remember correctly. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the story. Um, it starts off uh, right after Armageddon, uh, the massive battle. Um, Shao Kahn is uh, defeating Raiden, and right about he's about to deliver the final blow. Raiden sends a mental message to himself, to his younger self right around the uh, Mortal Kombat 1 and young Raiden uses this uh, premonition if you want to call it uh, to change history basically and uh, it's basically rewriting the whole Mortal Kombat mythology timeline um, for example uh, some of the cyborgs uh, from Mortal Kombat 3 uh, Smoke, uh, Cyrax they won't be there anymore. Well, they will, but as human, if, uh, that's what I was told or read on the internet, actually. Um, human smoke's going to be there, and I think there's going to be a cybernetic version of uh, Sub-Zero, which uh, I want to see that. Okay, oh, I just beat myself, and I cut a hole to the nether realm. That's pretty cool. Uh, now I'm fighting Johnny Cage. I had a chance to play as Johnny Cage and I thought his moves here were awesome. I don't know if you guys want to see uh, some video of that. I just Okay, going back to the uh, timeline thing, um, it's going to redo more combat 1, 2, and 3 story mode. I'm guessing they're trying to do away with the uh, stories from the more combat 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. I don't know, Mortal Kombat 8, was that uh, Mortal Kombat versus DC? I don't blame them for trying to do away with that. 
I did play it. It was fun, but I don't think it should have gone with Mortal Kombat. You know, it's DC, but whatever. And uh, Mortal Kombat 4 was my least favorite of all. I did not like that game at all. 5 was good. 6 was good. Um, Unchained for the PSP. That one was pretty good. I liked the the story with Shujinko, which uh, reminds me, I don't think Shujinko's going to be in this game. No, I'm going over the list right now of players. It's uh, Baraka, uh, Cyrax, Ermac, Jade, Jax, Johnny Cage, Cabal, Kano, Kitana, Kung Lao, Liu Kang, Melina, Nightwolf, Noob Zaybot, Quan Chi, Raiden, Reptile, Scorpion, Sector, Shang Tsung, Shiva, Sundel, Smoke, Sonya, Striker, and Sub Zero. Oh, well, I guess it makes sense that Chujinko's not here since it's one, two, and three. But, anyways, um, he was one of my favorite characters, uh, basically because I liked his story mode. <laughs> okay, and here I'm doing the same fatality again. I have not tried the other, the stage fatality yet. It's, uh, I have to practice on that. <laughs> um, the Lady in Red character that I mentioned earlier. Uh, she's a new character based on an old one, if that makes any sense. Um, back in the Mortal Kombat 2, there was a glitch in the video game when you would choose either Kitana or uh, Melina. Sometimes they would glitch and turn them red. And uh, that's where the Lady in Red comes from. I never had this glitch myself. Have you ever seen this glitch? I don't know. Well, um, she's going to be a downloadable character uh, for this game, and uh, her name is not uh, decided yet. Uh, this part right here is the uh, x-ray feature. Um, you have to fill up that bar in the bottom of the screen all the way up, and uh, you charge it up, you attack your character, and that's what happens. Every ca character is different. I think it's pretty sweet. Anyways, going back to uh, the Lady in Red, Scarlet, um, the same glitch happened to uh, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Reptile. It would turn them red, and uh, for Mortal Kombat 3, they gave this uh, Red Ninja a name and uh, a story. You might know him as Ermac. I think he's a pretty cool character. I, I do like his story, and... Um, he was the one who showed uh, Kenshi how to use telekinesis and Kenshi's gonna go and kill Shang Tsung for his blindness or whatever. Right there I messed up, I was gonna do the fatality on him, but I messed up so it didn't happen. Okay so the next one would be Goro but there's the demo version and it ends the game. And then it jumps into a... Uh... Okay I'm gonna shut up and let you watch this. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, favorite, comment, all that good stuff. 
And look at this John Cena looking dude. Looks, it's striker, but it looks like John Cena. <laughs> Laters.